is live outside of Houston Police Headquarters tonight, which has seen six deadly officer-involved shootings since April. Michael? Chris, activists actually raised this issue with the chief of police during the march, which happened just a few blocks away from here. And tonight we just spoke with one family who wants a closer look at their loved one's final moments. I know my babies miss him. We all miss him so much. Following the death of George Floyd, some are now calling for more transparency from the police, including Lovey Williams Linzer. I just want justice that I know I've been fighting for ever since December 30th, 2019. That was the day an 18-year-old man was killed in an officer-involved shooting. Houston police say the suspect fired a round at officers after leading them on a chase that started in Pasadena. Williams Linzer says the suspect was Davion Edison, her nephew who she raised as a son. If they release the cameras, it will give me closure. And I haven't received it yet. I need it. In the wake of Floyd's death, more video evidence is just one of the demands from activist Quan L. X. We believe and we demand that body cam footage of police shootings and all use of force be released to the public within 24 hours. The issue isn't so cut and dry because some families don't want the video released. A Houston police spokesman says Chief Art Acevedo wants a national standard for releasing body cam footage, one that includes the family's wishes as a factor. I want to see it myself and I want it released to everyone. Williams Linzer says police told her the video couldn't be released because the incident was still under investigation. But she doesn't believe their account of what happened, so she wants to see the final moments herself. The police spokesman tells me that the chief has met with some families to show them the video in their respective cases, but as we've seen and heard, others are still waiting. Reporting live, Michael Lopardi, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Michael.